What's up everyone, welcome back to Laser Monkey, and you can see we're here in my cube corner, but unfortunately I can't bring my whole house with me when I go to the World Championships next weekend. So, what am I going to do? Well, I have a fantastic solution. We're going to talk about packing cubes and how to pack like a pro cuber. I've gone through a lot of different styles of packing, as you can imagine, so I'm going to go over all the different types. Straight in the suitcase, cube bag, other bag, backpack, free freehand, like all the options. So let's get right into it. A lot of you might be familiar with this style of packing cubes. Uh, these are the two most popular straight cube bags. Um, I don't have cube backpacks, but those seem to be better than these, but they have similar functionality. Uh, what you get here is basically a bag that opens up. It's got one handle, and uh, it's got some a space for some cubes and not really much else. Uh, I mean, maybe you can put your lubes in these kinds of things. Uh, there's this very flimsy pouch, which isn't very useful at all. You can fit a few cubes, but I've noticed this Mofengi bag isn't quite big enough to fit a significant amount of cubes. And then you've got this area down here for holding cubes, but you can't actually access any of these cubes. So you have to pull these out and then pull them out like that, it's just its a hassle. But if you, if all you want to do is carry a few cubes and a few lubes, it's got this very nice pouch in the middle uh, to carry a lot of stuff. Um, if you want to carry some cubes and lubes, this is a great solution. This is the Mofangi cube bag. Uh, another alternative is the Moyu cube bag, but as you can see, this one hasn't done so well for me. Uh, it's got ripped, you can see the foam interior. Uh, but it is a much bigger bag than the Mofangi. As you can see, lots of space in there, but it's just a straight bag. Nothing much you can do with that other than throw as many 6x6s as possible inside. If you don't have one of these Q bags and you're thinking, hey, I'm just going to bring a suitcase. Well, I've done this before, and I can tell you it's not a fantastic option, uh, but you can just throw some stuff in your tiny suitcase and call that cube packing, but... uh. Try not to do that. You might be thinking, Philip, what if I want to bring my giant cube? That was definitely not planned. Uh, yeah, it doesn't fit, so you're going to have to disassemble it, which is going to make it really hard if you want to bring this in your personal item. Uh, not a great option. I know a lot of you might be inclined to use a backpack, and a backpack is a great solution. You can bring a lot of stuff. You can bring your laptop. You can bring your cameras. Uh, this happens to be packed uh, for the world championships we got a lot of camera gear in there ready to go uh, but uh, this solution isn't lightweight this thing weighs like 15 pounds that's a lot to carry around at a cubing competition if i'm at a cubing competition and my bag weighs 15 pounds i'm not having a great time i'm setting that down as often as possible uh, so that's definitely not the way to go. If you have one of the new Q bags, like one of the Mofangi ones, uh, Gan, I don't know if Gan makes one, but any of these new Q bags, uh, not like these, but they do make some backpacks nowadays. Those are really nice. So if you can get one of those and you like that for your cubes, that I mean, that's awesome. Um, another option, which you may not have considered, uh, but you definitely shouldn't do, is use one of these. This is a bag I got a little while back. This is a Nationals bag. Uh, from 2018. It's just a drawstring. Don't use a drawstring, guys. I've done this so many times. It's a terrible idea. The problem with the drawstring is that, first of all, these things break all the time. They're a nice souvenir. I use them for carrying very lightweight stuff on very short trips. Uh, but the problem with the drawstring is, although this is a high-quality drawstring, it's going to break on you. I guarantee it. And it's not a comfortable way to carry your stuff. And what are you going to do? Like, throw your cubes and have them jostle around? They're, they're too susceptible to easy damage, chipping, all these issues that you just don't want to deal with. Treat your cubes nicely, guys. And if you're using one of those bags, in addition to carrying that bag, you got to bring your water bottle. I mean, water is very important. you got to stay hydrated. So what I've decided for Worlds is I'm going to be using the Peak Design Sling. This is a fantastic bag. It just goes right around. It weighs almost nothing. Carries all my stuff. It's so nice, guys. This is a... 10 liter bag and I'm going to show you what's inside. I love this bag so much. I use it for literally everything uh, and I think it's a great way to pack cubes. And uh, first of all, we're going to talk about what you need, actually need to bring to a cubing competition uh, when you're packing because you really don't need to bring that much. You might think that you need to bring like all your cubes, bring your whole collection. That's definitely what I did 
when I went to my first cubing competition, I brought every single cube I had. I brought the biggest thing I had. I brought the smallest thing. Every single item had to be with me at the competition. You just don't need that. So inside you can see I have my most essential cubes, the most important cubes right at the top here. And uh, they just fit all in there very nicely. I'm gonna be using a GoPro this year. It's gonna be interesting. Uh, this is a little three printed uh, case I made for it uh, just to get some better audio. Um, but yeah, this is a great setup. You get so much battery life on these GoPros, so much uh, extra record time, so low bit rate, it's really great. Um, all these cubes just fit in very nicely. You have your hand warmers to give it a little cushioning. And you don't put all your hand warmers in here because they take up so much space. If you're bringing another carry-on, what I did is I just put the rest of my hand warmers in my carry-on and you can always buy those things um, on site. I also do a lot of videography. So on the other side here, I've got my mic nicely put in there, my camera very easy to access, and I've got a little extra lens down there if I want to get some extra range. What's great about a bag like this, unlike one of these Q bags, flimsy, unreliable, uh, is that you can actually put other stuff in it. Like in here, you can see I have my iPad. Um, and in the back here, in this pouch, I'm bringing my travel size water bottle. And I've even got my stack mat down there. I've got my essential lubes. I've got a pair of stickers because stickers, you never know when you're gonna need stickers. I remember when I was at the last world championships in Paris, I needed sticker replacements and I simply didn't have any. So I had to borrow somebody else's cube. And that was obviously a disaster. Uh, so definitely if you're using sticker cubes, I'm only using one, so bring extra stickers for that cube. Very important. People forget it all the time. It's harder than you'd think to get stickers at a Rubik's Cube competition. Nobody has them for the cube you have. If they do, they don't want to give them to you because, you know, they need them. Um, and surprisingly, the cube vendors don't typically have the cube stickers you need. Thank you so much, everyone. I hope this was interesting. I know this would have been super interesting for me if I been able to watch a video like this to see how somebody else packs their cubes. Um, I like to keep it simple. I like to have a bag that allows me to carry other stuff. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching everyone. And stay tuned, guys. World is coming up. I'm planning to make some fun videos. Uh, we'll see what the competition brings. We'll see how my results go. Um, we'll see we'll see if I can do well. Uh, I'll try and practice some Mega Minx. I haven't Sle I've been sleeping a lot, but I've been extremely sick since I got back from Italy, so I, I just barely uh, finished adjusting to the time zone here, and we're going to Australia now, so, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> life is crazy, but I'm super pumped, and um, if you're going to be in a at Worlds or Warm Up Sydney, I'm super excited to see you there, and for those of you who won't, I promise I'll be doing some YouTube content, so get hyped. See you guys later. This is Laser Monkey. Out.